Chicago can we start it? What is the first one? Okay. Yeah. And okay, okay, fine. That one was a for answer. And then where do you see it like progressing to? We hope to make it an annual thing. Yeah. And grow it bigger. Yeah. Yeah, because a lot of people have nice cars there. Oh yeah, that one. But yeah. coming mm -hmm. together, having a reason to come to yeah. an event. And I think people buy their cars and then hide them in the house, and then one one day they just drive, come out of the house and then, yeah. But a lot of the classic cars too are not perfect. Yeah. 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 Okay. As in they have, they've done some uh, alterations or like yeah, what they're, they're say. Yeah, old. So there's always something to be done. Yeah. A, a friend of mine is trying to get a, a, a pagoda from someone. A pagoda. Pagoda. But the guy is unflinching. He just left. Literally, he was here. Yeah, ah, it's all good. And um, what do you think about Ghana's car culture now, as, it, as compared to maybe before? And where do you see it heading? Well, I mean, we've come a long way down here. Yeah. Down yeah. You know, Ghana, yeah. We've <laughs> come a long way. I mean, on average, tell me, people know cars now. People do know cars. You know, yeah. people, people, the knowledge people have about cars, they talk about horsepower, yeah. you know. Stuff, stuff back in the day, you know. No one really bothered, yeah. yeah. And not just cars, bikes as well. Motorcycles. Bikes, yeah. yeah. So we, we've definitely come a long way. No way. And it only get bigger and bigger. You see? So what do you hope to see? Like, what are you, what do you hope to see? Everyone has different, different aspects, but what do you I hope think, to see? I think now the car culture, or the people really, really move in the industry, are the ones I have money to tell yeah. you. See, you know, a lot of us love the cars. Yeah, but, but yeah, they're Lucy no day. Yeah, they're not cheap. Yeah. Working on the cars, modifying yeah. the cars, yeah. keeping them tip top. Yeah. Bro, you have no idea. And I think the old ones, I think as, as time passes by, you need to do alterations to them because the old parts, I don't I don't think they're as common as the, the used to. If you're lucky and the car is popular enough, yeah. you can buy Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Mr. Collins. Yeah. 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 That's that's what we're subjected to do. Almost all, all like him and I both we both have old cars. Yeah. yeah. And the first thing you look at is like it's okay. Stuff, uh, Overseas, you know what I mean? And that's what sucks, you know. But I mean, it's like that a lot of places too because the older the car gets, the more you have to start being resourceful yeah. with what you have. And then sometimes you can't even find this stuff online. You can, and, and I say that like from websites, you yeah. have to find different groups and uh, forums and stuff yeah. who's trading amongst those forums and things like that, wow. so, you know. But I mean, it's I mean, the, the old cars, there's a reason for them. They have attitude. Yeah. You know what I mean? They have a soul and they have a story behind them. A lot of the new cars, there's no, it's there's no, no story it's just, behind yeah, them. Yeah, it's like it's, mass production. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's an A to B car. Yeah. It doesn't really mean anything. Even even, even the M3 and, and stuff like that is cool, yeah. but there's no, like, it's lost its soul because now it's made for a mass population. Yeah. Back in the day, you couldn't buy an M car um, automatic. You know what I mean? Yeah. Maybe it was the E36. Sedan was automatic, but you'd have to ask for yeah. it. Aside from that, M5 <laughs> always known to be manual transmission. You see, I those, think everyone is switching to and, automatic now. And, they, they, like, and it's faster, granted, but I think people are losing the idea of the drive yeah. as opposed to what I look like in driving the car. You understand? It's more for looks than as opposed to I'm driving it because it's got all these attributes. You know what I mean? So there, there, there's differences here. They're looking at the numbers as opposed to looking the at the what, car. It mean, yeah, what it means to have the car. So, uh, could you tell me your story about the RX-8? Yeah, the, the RX-7, I got it from uh, I got it from a friend of mine, and I actually worked on it before owning it. Yeah. And it was it was just sitting at the shop. Some my friend bought it, and um, he had it for like a year or so, and it was just sitting because he had work to do on it, but he didn't have time to work on it. And so one day he called me up and said, yo, you want the car? And I was like, yeah. And I was like, and I, and I said, and right before we got it amongst any conversation, I was like, listen, I don't have any money, <laughs> none. I said, so if you, I said, if you're willing to give me the car and we work out a deal, or if you want me to fix it and you keep it, whatever the case may yeah. be, you let me know, I'm willing to do it. He said, listen, take the car, you come up with a price of how much you want to pay. You pay me whenever you get a chance to start paying back. And still, I'll be honest, I haven't paid anything to this guy, but I've been constantly piecing things together, piecing things together. So it's still getting there. And it's been repainted recently. Yeah. Um, it needs suspension work. I got to order that stuff from overseas. But, um, but how easy how easy is it to get parts for, for it? How easy is it? I mean, to be told, on the internet, there's millions of parts for it. Because it's still... It's still and, and, 
on the aftermarket world, there's still lots of support for them. Even engine-wise, there's, there's different groups of people worldwide that you yeah. find who are still trading with a lot of parts, yeah. like especially the rotary engine stuff. Suspension stuff is always easy to come by. Um, but uh, it's the rotary stuff that people are always like, yeah. it's like a niche market. But um, this is my first rotary car in the States. Um, I've seen a few, yeah. haven't worked on any, but who doesn't want an FDR X7? And I I mean, when I was younger, I always used to go on eBay, look at how much one was. was yeah. One day, maybe I'll get one. But I did the same thing for NSX and the Skyline yeah. too, but you know, maybe I'll get one of those too, but I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't, uh, Step away from that car. So, and and that's one of my, to me, one of the most beautiful cars in the world. So after after this, what will be your like? If you if you had the money, what would be the the top three cars you would buy? Like vintage cars. Vintage cars. Yeah. I would buy. I come. I would buy a BMW E28 Alpine, Alpina yes. E7. It's a twin turbo, um, 3.4. Six. Yeah. And that's the one that that's like it's super rare. Yeah. There's 200 of them that are made in the world. Yeah. And uh, three, you said, right? Yeah. Um, vintage cars. I'd have to have my second one has to be a 1970 Chevy Chevelle with an LS <laughs> engine in it, 60 yeah, manual. Right. And uh, the third car. I don't know. The third car okay. is not too vintage. Yeah. But I guess it'd have to be. Um, Another Nissan S13. I've, I've, I've had like six of them in my yeah. lifetime. I could always use another one. So. <laughs> Mr. Jason, and you? The top, three, top three. Top three. Top three. Top, top, top three, I have two already. Okay. E30, E34. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They're yeah, yeah. They're um, the we have we have one old E30 I'm trying to work on, but that you see the the original day. So it's not later. Easier. I mean, if you think of it as an old car, yeah. bro, move, move towards it. Engine, yeah, yeah, yeah. suspension, yeah. body. And the old cars, you have to strive for perfection. Because if they don't look clean, yeah, it they won't, it. Yeah. then they look beat. They look beat. And then it's an old Rikiti car. If it's clean, it's a classic. <laughs> Thank you. You'd be like, woo. Otherwise, you're like, oh, he broke. <laughs> and the, the last one. <laughs> if I also have a third car now, does that have to be a classic? Was that your question? Uh, yeah, it was. Top, it, top three classic. Yeah, yeah. But if if you don't have any, you can add like. Okay, but that that won't be, be fair to him. No, go ahead, go okay. ahead. Three. You, you got two already, so you got it. It's got to be one. You know of one that you really want. It doesn't necessarily have to be vintage. If you... I don't know. I like a 36 M3. That's uh, the generation after the E30. Yeah. Just because I don't have all of this. This car. This car. I don't blame you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and you can always use the E36 yeah. in your state. And 36 is a bad car, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That car lives forever. Mm -hmm. In a thousand years, we'll be a modern car. Those you. <laughs> so, um, one more thing. Um, I, I, I've been thinking about this issue. Um, VW is planning to build a plant in Ghana. Yeah, yeah. Group, group PSA is also, I think they are trying to do the same thing. So I don't know, um, with the rate at which um, uh, Europe and America is becoming more electric, do you think maybe develop, developing countries will be the last place where you can get the internal combustion engines? You know what? Um, I'll speak on that. Uh, it's difficult to implement because Electric vehicles are not cheap, okay? And if you go around the world, everybody's in the same situation as we are. As much as we saying we gotta ship parts in, there's some guy in Texas right now talking about, I gotta buy, I gotta buy yeah, I need, I need parts for my E30, you see what I'm saying? Whether he has money in the family and is getting paid, and he's still like, this, this is just play money. So, yeah. you know, so to go and go out and say, I want an electric vehicle, you're gonna pay at least twenty-five thousand for a Prius. That's base. Yeah. You know what I mean? Not to mention a Chevy Volt or a Tesla or any one of anything yeah. that's hybrid. Yeah, you want to save the environment, but I mean, it's expensive. Yeah. And they're not necessarily green because it depends on where you get your electricity the cost from. Is high. And and yeah. you know what? To be to be brutally honest, if you look at the way the catalytic converter is designed, it it causes a chemical reaction to spit out carbon dioxide not carbon monoxide. 
So with that being said, by the time most of the stuff, most of these brand new cars, where they're talking about zero emission vehicles, they're zero emission vehicles. Oh, damn near close to it. I mean, because even the electrical stuff, the stuff that they're mining, that's still detriment to the environment. What are you gonna, how do you get rid of the lithium batteries when they die? And it's that's finite true. too. Yeah. Like there's only a fixed amount that they can, yeah, 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 they yeah. can mine. Yeah. E e even, even folks sitting in their house with solar panels, the batteries die off. Yeah. The time they would have to, like, they would wow, have to change it. And batteries, go. batteries are really, are, we all know batteries are really toxic. Yeah. yeah. We know, we know what to wear. We can actually say the batteries. Are, may, may, yeah. You know, maybe 20 years from now, who knows? But it's hard to tell. It's hard to tell. We could be sitting out here talking. About, I remember 20 years ago, but I, I don't know, man. It's hard to implement because you have to get a lot of people on board. And there's a lot of effort. There's a lot and, of effort. And for real, for real, if you want to do it. You need to have incentives, you know, like yeah. big if I, incentives. If I buy, if I buy a, a Prius, at least I get maybe some tax deductions. Yeah, I mean, they do, they do that, but I mean, tax deductions at the end of the year. That's if you file, and then to make sure you did it right. And how much you gonna? And, and nobody, not everybody knows, and especially us over here in Ghana. I mean, we probably couldn't care less. But a lot of times, we're also talking about places with massive populations. If you look at, if you, 2 a.m. in Ghana, the streets are dead. The streets are dead. Like, our place vents. Like, this place vents out. You know what I mean? As much as they can be like, we have population. We may have pollution issues during the day, but I bet you during the nighttime, all this stuff vents out. You know, places with massive population, Thailand, um, places Bangkok, yeah. and these places in India, Hong Kong, all those places where it's massive people yeah. at one time, which it means every hour, during in the 24 hour period people are on the street going, yeah. cars are running that's where pollution is going like crazy you know what i mean machines are always running a population here i mean we drive an hour away you know and it's desolate it, it, you know so hard to say hard to say but well, what uh let's see what's let's see more than car or maybe the most recent car has really impressed you like, I, think, I think every modern car is impressive you know, new Mercedes, new BMW, right, right, right. they'll blow your mind. Pinnacle of technology. That's right. Mm -hmm. Anything new, state of the art, yeah, yeah, yeah. reliable. Reliable is, it's, 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 it's tough, it's, it's tough, man. It's very important. Yeah, yeah, sure. Because, like, a friend of mine was, we saw a Vala just down the road. Vala? Uh, yeah, the okay. Range Vala, and it was like, he, he doesn't believe. He doesn't see Land Rover to be reliable because even I have seen, uh, I've experienced a case where the car came and they worked on it and they, it went and it, came, it had the same problem again. I don't doubt the mechanics effort, but then the car had issues. Me, I would say it's, it's unfair to blame the cars. Yeah. You see, there's someone out there too that would watch this and say, hey, that's probably the most reliable car you can mm -hmm. ever buy, a Land Rover. Yeah. I'm not saying Land, Land Rovers are bad, but... Oh, I, but like, I mean, yeah, you, you may have an experience with a specific one. Like, sometimes it's the history. You know, what, what happened to that car? You never know. What did the guy do to that car? <laughs> Accident, yeah. blood. Right. You know, uh, poor maintenance. Mm. So, so to be fair, the maintenance over here, really doesn't help a lot of the cars yeah. on average on average some people are very meticulous yeah. some people too couldn't care less they couldn't care less they just drive it yeah. and, and it's, 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 it's the truth it's the truth there are people driving in town now with no oil <laughs> are you so <laughs> oh, really plenty you'd be surprised plenty of oil no oil no oil well, that's extreme, you know. I'm like, telling you, like, like, it's, it's just a matter of time before the engine goes fast. Yeah, they may have a quart, a liter in there, and then... You see? So, point being, maintenance... Even to some extent, to me, I'm guilty. <laughs> I was like... Yeah, I, I get know? it. Yeah, I, I, a lot of time, maintenance is not how it should be. Over here in Ghana. Yeah. That's why the police make so much money collecting bribes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they know every single car is an issue. Every single car. Every single car. If, if they really, really, really want to you know, go in depth. I, I, I think when it comes to maintenance, there has to be like discipline. Because sometimes you wake up in the morning, you don't feel like going to sit in the car, warm it for like five minutes, and then like, you get up, just get in the car, and you're off to work. Because you know, you have a lot of, a lot of stuff. So I th sometimes I think it's more of a, 
more of discipline than. Mm. I mean, it goes hand in hand. It goes hand in hand. I mean, yeah, you need discipline to, you know, meticulously yeah. maintain your car. Yeah. Because it has to be done regularly. You see, and not when you can. Also, when you I have don't, to. Have money, when when so, you need. You see, me if I can't afford maintenance, I need the car. <laughs> I was this close because my knee shocks. I need suspension done on mine. I was close. I was like, man, I don't even feel like driving. Oh, you know it's not tip top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you you baby it. Right, right. You know, you take your time. Mm -hmm. It will be. 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 So could I could I check the inside of the? Yeah, yeah, it's it's open. Open. It's open. Somebody do just in it. All right. This is what I want. This is what I want. 